Wow, the quality of this projector is absolutely crazy for something of its size. This here is a laser projector. Now, it's no ordinary laser projector. It's actually a portable laser projector. Now, the way it works is quite simple. All you got to do is simply open this up like this, lift up this particular part here on the bottom, place it down on a flat surface, let it do its thing, plug in what you want to try, and then in a matter of seconds, you can just start playing or watch movies on the fly. How cool is that? guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be unboxing the all new WiMAX GO Advance 300. This here is a portable laser projector. That is right, a laser projector that you can go ahead and use wherever, whenever. Now, if you guys wanted your very own, check out their link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here's our packaging. This here is our box. Overall, looks pretty simple here. Uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, cool. So you do get this nice looking display kind of showcasing the product. So we're sporting the nice black version here. It's a portable laser projector provided by ALPD Laser. All right, so it says beam into the future. Pretty cool. Got this nice looking display showcasing the contents, uh, moving away from the right to the left. So we do have ourselves a charger. Now this here is not a USB charger. It's actually a physical charger. So you can't lose this as it has a wire built into it. Uh, however, the end port here does appear to be a USB-C port. So this can be interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, then we also have a remote. So very standard remote. Looks like you have a power function, a microphone function. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. And then uh, volume and as well as the home too. This is nice. Uh, but before we look at the projector, uh, we have ourselves a user manual. So a quick start guide on how to go ahead and set this thing up and in terms of safety goes. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our projector next. All right, so some first impressions. Very high class grade material. I love the two-tone between this almost onyx black with this gold aluminum kind of finish here. Uh, again, kind of like the portable WiMAX that we originally reviewed. It does have the slider function here to go ahead and expose the lens. So you can go ahead and close it just by doing that as well. Now, obviously it being a laser projector, you do want to exercise caution when you do use it. It can damage your eyesight if you look directly into it. Now on the bottom here, we do have a little lid that we should go ahead and pop this open here. We can adjust the height of our angle. So that's kind of nice that they do include that. So you don't really have to worry about propping it up onto something there. Uh, it should be kind of interesting to see how that plays out. Now on the back here, you have an HDMI port, a USB port, uh, your power port, and then you also have uh, your headphone jack. Now I believe this is actually battery powered as well, so you can go ahead and charge it uh, and then use this on the go. So let's go ahead and slide this open here. There you go. <laughs> so it's on just like that. What the? <laughs> that was actually relatively quick. Um, and yeah, so you can go ahead and just prop it up and use it against the wall like this. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and set this thing up next and try it out. Okay, so I went in the other studio room here to kind of show you how this plays out. So we're gonna go turn this thing on by simply switch sliding this over like this. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the uh, lift here just to kind of give it a little more elevation. And uh, let's see if this plays out. All right, so we have our WiMAX logo kind of portraying on this projector screen. All right, so right now it's just auto correcting. Uh, and there you have it. All right, so this here is our main hub. Uh, so you have a few different things going on here. So you have your settings. 
uh, allowing you to go ahead and adjust everything in terms of the network settings, uh, energy saving, your sound. Uh, you can turn it up via Bluetooth speaker. Uh, and there's a lot of different things that you can do in terms of customization. Now it also has a file manager allowing you to access it. So it does have an internal memory of 16 gigabytes. So I can go and upload my own movies on here or you know music songs and uh, not having to worry about plugging anything into it and just run it directly off of that. That is pretty cool. It's got a cast projection. So this year I can directly connect it with my phone, uh, which is really cool. So for instance, if I just go open up here, uh, and then hit screen mirroring on my phone. I can find it by clicking smart projector and within a matter of seconds, we're connected. There you go. Look at that. So I can swipe up here and literally there's no lag at all. This thing actually is really smooth and I can see everything in here. So I can open up a screen here and hit play and I can watch my video by casting it onto the screen. So it's really nice on how they do that. So it's also a Bluetooth speaker. So I can click this here and I can uh, connect to it via Bluetooth and listen to music off of it, which is really nice. Um, and then over here on inputs kind of shows you what you have. So right now you have a USB 2.0 as well as an HDMI that you can connect to it. Uh, and then on the top here, we have our uh, launcher. So this here is gonna be our Aptoid TV launcher. So I can download apps here like Disney Plus, uh, YouTube, Netflix, everything is on here, which is really good. So if I click on YouTube here, I can uh, install this and then uh, you can see it loading up there. I can start the app, install the app. So it's essentially like a miniature computer, which is good. Okay, done and open. So let's try this out and see if we can search up conflicts. We are and uh, I can click on my profile here and you can see all my product reviews all right so hey guys, there's my channel <laughs> that's actually a really good quality video for something that's portable absolutely crazy so that is pretty wicked stuff there now it's also got 360 capability too so for instance this is a 360 video I could look around how cool is that? So I'm controlling this with my uh, remote. But yeah, kind of gives you an idea what that's about. So going back to our home, uh, we can then click on user manual and you can see more about it. We can adjust the focus, we can do keystone correction, and then you can just turn it off like that. So let's go ahead and connect a PS5 next and see how this thing handles it. All right, so this here is gonna be our PlayStation hub. So we can play Gran Turismo. So this is really cool. So you you know, you can use this for a variety of different things. Um, and yeah, I mean the volume, let's see how high this thing can get. So the quality of the audio is actually pretty good. However, I wish there was more bass. Obviously for the size, it's really good. We'll just say that. Here we go. Two legends battling it out. <laughs> oh, pit maneuver. <laughs> oh, he did the pit maneuver on me. All right, well, it kind of gives you an idea what that's about. Let's try Spider-Man really quick. Wow, the quality of this projector is absolutely crazy for something of its size. This is so cool. You can play it like outside too. That is so wicked. There you guys have it. So overall, really cool stuff and really easy to use. Now, for instance, once we're done playing or done using it, all you have to do is simply pick it up, close this lid, and you're ready to go. It's that simple. Now, with that said, if you guys had any questions about the Wii Max Go Advance, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.